The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Sportscast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German. Alongside me, as usual, usual, Jesus, I can't even talk. We've got our very two talented stand-up comics, stand-up comedians. First, to my left, we've got the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. What's up, buddy? Hey, Scotty. How you doing? Another day in paradise and cleaning up dog shit when I get home. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, that's what I happened. I hadn't heard anything about it. Yeah, pretty I, much. Oh. I snuck in the house early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. Well, it's, and it's, it was what's, people shit. What's even worse <laughs> is it was my dog. <laughs> no, it I, was my dog. <laughs> I bring him over here to shit. I, this, this is just how I roll. I don't want him shitting in my yard. Yeah. But I want then, him shitting in your house. <laughs> and we also have our, uh, our other good friend, another good stand-up com- uh, comic here in town, here in our local area in Wichita, uh, the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. You're, you're living with that, buddy. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, okay. the wreck. all right, Scott. What? Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. No, I don't like that name at all. How is Scotty? Scotty's good. Uh, with the, what we're referring to is I do have a dog. That uh, is absolutely terrified of thunderstorms. And here in Wichita, Kansas area, we we had a, a little one. It wasn't even that bad, I don't think. It went. It woke my ass up. Uh, well, that's because you sleep till noon. Yeah. What two? What the fuck? Two. You sleep till two. Mm-hmm. That's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, you know what else is ridiculous? What your fucking outfit, Scotty? <laughs> that's just because <laughs> you're just a Cub fan and you don't know what's good for you. Anyways, uh, so we come. I come home. And uh, go downstairs. We have a baby gate to keep the dogs out of the downstairs. It doesn't fucking matter. He gets downstairs. Somehow a bathroom door was left open. Somehow gets into the bathroom. And it's a small, confined area, this bathroom. Gets in there. Somehow closes the door behind him during the thunderstorm. Shits all over the place. Tears up the sheetrock. Does all kinds of damage to the molding. And I get to clean it up when uh, Jeremy Joseph shows up on time. Uh, My pleasure, Scotty. Unlike Derek Alders. And uh, I get to clean up shit while he sits in my uh, kitchen upstairs so he doesn't have to smell the shit. That's because your dog dog texted me and said, hey, just shit downstairs. Why don't you hang (laughs) back about 15? (laughs) Dad's busy. I said, okay. And Derek was just waking up. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Exactly. But we do have an excellent show. We've got a lot of of good things to talk about. Uh, This week in sports has been an absolute fucking crazy time with with, uh, NFL free agents and trades and stuff like that. We've got, uh, obviously, college basketball that's coming around the corner. This is the good time of year for sports. I, I haven't said it at all, but I've been thinking it. That, f- like, right after the Super Bowl, there's, like, a dead space in sports. You know, you've got the NBA going on, but it's, like, eh. It's, like, right after the All-Star game where it really doesn't matter yet. It's not that impressive. It just kind of sucks. 15 of the 16 playoff teams have been determined Ex- by that point. At that point, you know what I mean? And, and the Lakers aren't going to fucking go. And, spring um, training hadn't even started. Yeah, exactly. And then now sp- spring training's you know still fucking going on, and it still doesn't matter. But um, Woo. yeah, and that's been baseball talk, right? And that that's what <laughs> that, that's our baseball talk for the day. But uh, now it starts getting good. We're getting ready to come up on championship week. We've got we've got tournaments that are going on already. Uh, and so this is this is when it picks up. This is when we have lots of things that we can talk about. In fact, I'm scared that we're going to go over, but who cares? Never um, scared us before, Scott. No, well, no. We're, we're not regulated. <laughs> no, yeah. I know. This is this is our yeah, fucking I domain. I yeah. know. You're in our dojo, folks. <laughs> but this, if this is your first time watching this show, this is a completely unfiltered show. If you haven't already told by the foul language, I'm so sorry. Not really. It, there's a rated R logo on our logo. Or whatever. Yeah, anyway, a logo on our logo. <laughs> a logo we, on we, our logo. We fucking go hard in the paint. <laughs> what we will not do is say fuck, piss, and shit all one right after the other. Yeah. We won't do that. Yeah. Just like that. Uh, but you can check us out. We do have our own Facebook page. It is the Unfiltered Sportscast on Facebook. We also are on pretty much every platform for podcasts in and uh, like Stitcher, iTunes, uh, Spotify, uh, Podcast Addict. If you have an Android, we're at, we're everywhere. We're we're herpes for podcasts. 
Um, the other thing is, is uh, we released last week uh, that we are now on YouTube. There are actually two previous episodes that are now up that you can watch of uh, some pretty interesting stuff, which we are going to get into. So definitely check us out on YouTube. Click the uh, subscribe button and the notifications. Jeremy notified me to do that. Yeah, that's how you get the the actual Little alert alerts that yeah. there's a new episode up because we know you're clamoring. Mm-hmm. Sorry, mid beer drink. Uh, anyways, definitely do that. Apology that, accepted. Yeah, and uh, I'm not over it yet. <laughs> let's take a minute. No, let's and reflect not. Reflect on what just happened. But uh, that'll actually alert you and tell you whenever we uh, have a new episode that comes out, which we do every Tuesday night. And the episode comes out Tuesday after we're done recording on uh, all the podcast platforms. The uh, video of us on YouTube normally doesn't come out until Wednesday. So uh, just so you kind of know our schedule, that's kind of how it works. Uh, But we're going to start the show off with a couple of things uh, going on in the NFL uh, because we've got to be doing some patting on the backs of ourselves this time. Okay, this is a fairly new show. Uh, Yes, we are uh, local people here in the in the Wichita area. Um, but we called some shit. Yeah. All right. We, we called so. some shit. Yeah. We looked up, uh, whenever we called the Nick Foles first. That, that we, okay. Yes. That was second episode. That was second episode. So <laughs> we, if you're doing, we did have inside information. Nick is a listener. A he follower. is a listener of the show. So, yeah, okay. That's that. That is he's true. Got my cell phone number. I don't like that. He has my cell phone number, <laughs> but he has it. Right. But, uh, but we, we were kind of advising him. I don't, sure. I don't think Absolutely. he was just, you know what I mean? We we, he was, he was listening to our advice and uh, Nick Foles is now going to the Jaguars. The Jaguars. the Jaguars. I'll be damned. And that, and if you're doing math, if that was episode two, then literally that was nine, nine weeks, ago? weeks ago Yeah, uh-huh. is when we called that because we called that after they won against the bears. Sorry. Fuck you. Just saying. Uh, I can't even say that. It was after Cody Parkey missed the 43-yard kick and d- double doinked off the you know uprights. Yeah. So may he uh, die. Yeah. Very, very, <laughs> very tragically. He ain't a bear anymore, so it's okay. Uh, but anyways, after that, we called and we we basically said that the a really good place for him to go was Jacksonville. And what's the what's the contract term limits or and all this? I think it's four, four years, years 88, eighty-eight yeah. million. I think is what he's got, which I think is pretty fair. I mean, that's top ten. That's a top top ten paying job or quarterback in the NFL. Mm, uh, yeah, maybe it, if you per year, yeah, yeah, yeah per, I, per year, total money, no, totally money, no, yeah. but per year, yes. And I think that's smart for Jacksonville. Really, uh, mm-hmm. they they don't necessarily know what they have because realistically, Philadelphia really didn't know what they had at the beginning of the year. Because if you were paying attention and watching Nick Foles in preseason, he didn't look very good. At mm-hmm. the, I mean, at all. Uh, and then all of a sudden, whenever he didn't have any competition, he pulled a playoff berth out of his ass. He pulled a Super Bowl ring out of his ass. So, uh, I, not this year. Got him the playoffs twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got him in the playoffs twice, and and they advanced at yeah. least one game. And by and that, that's, he's that's being impressive. literal. Uh, he actually pulled a Super Bowl ring out of his ass. Yeah, that's where he, he keeps bought it, it on Pawn Stars. Yeah, well, that. Yeah, but that's was, where he keeps it. It was a Patriots Super Bowl ring, yeah. but uh, keeps it right up there in the keister. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the amazing Big Dick Nick. You can catch him on Saturdays uh, at the Mirage doing a show there in, on the Strip in Vegas. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, he goes right up there on stage and just pulls rings out of his ass. That's and, impressive. Yeah, sure some of those is. are those interlocking rings. Some uh-huh. of them are key rings, and some of them are onion rings, which is gross if you eat them. But hey, Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like Funyuns, but not when they've been in Foles' ass. Yeah, oh, that's terrible. Because he don't clean out. Uh, mm-hmm. Horrible. But anyway, so yeah, we called that one. It is horrible. Yeah, I know. Uh, but that one I got to give us all a, a big pat on the back for. But then we're going to move on to just this last. I'll take last... mine on the taint. Okay. Not from me, from Derek, though. Fair enough. I won't do it. Whatever. Uh, this last week, uh, I- I'm going to let Derek actually tell this because you we called it verbatim. Pretty much. I mean, for that, for that is every, very kind that you're going to let him I'm do work. I'm telling yeah. you because it was on last week's episode. Yeah. If you have not listened to last week's episode, we dropped that there was a rumor about him going to the Raiders, and yes. then Derek finish it up because everything else was pretty much your call. Uh, originally, I, I had said that uh, despite Pittsburgh or despite Brown, if I was Pittsburgh, I'd trade him to the fucking Bills. Yeah, is exactly what I would do, uh, and then. I also had said that I honestly thought that the best fit for him would be New England, but I don't feel like we didn't feel like Pittsburgh would would bite no, on that. No. And then it came out that uh, he was traded to the Bills, 
but refused, said he, or he was, they were trading him to the Bills, but he refused to report. He said he wasn't going to go. No, he did not say that. He said, uh, I quote, I am never going to play in that shithole, end quote. Fair enough. Okay, that's what he said. Well, so there's that. So they tried <laughs> to do what I, what I, I don't, I'm thinking, Speaking I don't know of if Pittsburgh. Have you heard about Nick Foles and his act? <laughs> But so so they tried to do exactly what I suggested to do, and then uh, the New England actually offered higher than Oakland. Uh, they offered a second and a fourth, right, for him. But they would not do that because that's not in Pittsburgh's best interest. No, because uh, they kick the shit out of them year in and year out in the playoffs. Yeah, New England kicks the shit out of Pittsburgh year in and year out, uh, and out of the playoffs too. Yeah, exactly. But. Uh, and so then they ended up where uh, Scotty had said that they were going to go, which was the Raiders. Which was the Raiders. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, pat on the back for that one because we called that, I believe, it was Tuesday. So uh, that uh, did not release until Sunday, if I remember. Or no, I think it was Saturday. It was pretty much breaking. And then it was released, I want to say, Sunday morning. Yeah. I couldn't remember. like that. But uh, last, uh, last but not least... Uh, Scotty made a, a little bit of a mistake this morning. Yeah, he referred to himself in the third person. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it, and I, I make that mistake quite often, but that's normally whenever I'm I'm in trouble. Uh, but anyways, uh, so this morning I saw I, I saw something that I thought was pretty damn reliable, uh, and it was a source that we use that uh, that I follow and and make sure that you know if something comes out I, I always always try to be the first one that breaks it to the people that follow us on Facebook. I try to get that information out as fast as possible. So if you follow us on Facebook, then you get information pretty fucking quick. That is pure journalistic integrity Damn right there, right. folks. So I had a source that I, I have been paying attention to, and uh, he basically broke that OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr., was going to the Browns, and <clears throat> it was very detailed. It did not appear fake. So it was very detailed on what, you know, the Browns were trading in order to get Odell Beckham Jr., which, if I remember correctly, it was a first-round draft pick, uh, uh, Peppers, and um, I can't Landry. remember. Oh, Landry. 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 Javaris Landry. Jarvis. Jarvis Landry. I, I can't pronounce his name anyway. Anyway. That's probably why I, he didn't go in the deal. And, yeah. And it was not, it did not appear fake. It did not look like it was anything funky, and I'm just like, holy shit, this is really fucking happening. So I, I put a meme together, shared it on our Facebook page, and then after I did that, I started looking at NFL.com, ESPN, you know, anything else just to confirm it after I had already ma- made and shared the meme. So it turns out that after watching for about 15 to 20 minutes, I figured that the parts would have cl- or the, the clouds would have parted by this point to where... Okay, if this was actually going on, somebody's going to fucking say something by now. Yeah, it didn't happen. So uh, I took the meme down. I did apologize to our uh, Facebook followers. However, as uh, we sat down probably about 15, 20 minutes ago, it has now released that Odell Beckham Jr. is now going to go to the Cleveland Browns. And it's going to be a, what is it going to be? What what, uh, what are they? What are the Browns trading? To I the, think a first, a third, and Jabril Peppers and Peppers. Yeah, I so, think is what it is. So I'm what I'm guessing. What probably happened is what is that Cleveland or, or, or uh, the Giants probably asked for that deal and it was pending, and uh, it wasn't clear whether or not the Browns were going to do that deal. But if they were to do the deal that I found, I don't. I, that's way too much, in my opinion. Everybody agree on that. A first yeah. round draft pick, this is Jarvis Landry, and one of the worst trades that I've maybe ever heard of. Yeah, that is way too much. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr. for as talented a guy as he is, he is a perennial pain in the ass. Yeah, I mean every year, it's another excuse for why they're not winning. It's never taking shit on himself. It's him stirring up shit in the locker rooms. Always shit between him and Eli, and yeah. Eli doesn't have a real big ego. But what's his nuts? The fucking quarterback. Why can't I? I'm no, Baker Mayfield. Blake Baker Mayfield. He does. Yeah. And there's going to be some pushing and shoving in that locker room. We'll for see. Sure. I, I think one of two things are going to happen. Either that that it's going to be that, or they're going to fucking love each other. Seriously. Mayfield and Beck or and, and, May, and OBJ. Beckham. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Beckham loves anybody but Beckham. I I, I know, but if uh, if Baker likes throwing the ball just to him, then. 
Mm. It'll work out. I don't like Beckham based on his hair alone. Sorry. I agree. What's it, up? It's a first, uh, a second. Oh, first and their second third round pick because they have two third rounds. Okay. Uh, so it's their first pick of the draft, which is number 17 overall, and then their second third round pick, which is 95th overall, and, and Jabril Peppers. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. And eh, I, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm not a huge I'm not a diehard Browns fan. I don't hate them. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that they're they're on the up and up. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that they're getting better. They're gonna be a playoff team next year. I I was just getting ready to say that. Even before Beckham, I think they were that, gonna be a playoff team. Next yeah, year. yeah, yeah they're doing worse. I, I think they've gotten worse with it. I, he's washed up. He's overrated. He's, we'll see. I I don't. I don't we disagree. Like we do. We so do. fuck put, you, Scotty. So put I quit. It on the books. God no, put on the it. books. We got that. That obviously guarantees that this show is going to be going on during the NFL playoffs next year. Mm. Yeah. So here you go. Right I th- on. Me, I, that'll me be and... another blowjob that we can get from Jeremy. That is exactly right. Blow Even job though bet. somehow I'm Blow. involved in the bet. Well, you are because you disagree with both me and Derek. Yeah. Therefore, if you lose the bet, blowjobs for both of us. Yep. Fair and enough. if you win the bet, you get to fillet yourself. Oh. Yeah. There you go. That's good. You're gonna have to uh, Marilyn Manson the lid out of there. Been... Though my dream for so long <laughs> yeah i got into yoga to blow myself still can't do it i got into yogi to blow myself well so far all i know is how to steal picnic baskets sure I well, sorry that fuck. was a little too loud as yogi once said nobody goes there anymore it's too crowded <laughs> hey yogi yeah sorry god he's another one of them guys i, I hate to get off i know we got to stay on <laughs> yogi is one of those guys despite being a yankee you cannot hate him. Yogi Berra? He's yes. A, he's a fucking bear. He's not a he, Yankee. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That, they're the same guy, aren't they? <laughs> no, totally That different. bear used to catch for the Yankees. No. He he caught Don Larson's perfect game in the World Series. Nope, nope. Yogi Yogi Bear got blowjobs from, who was it? What was the little bear? Uh, boo-boo. boo-boo. Boo-boo, yeah. Hey, boo-boo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was the catcher for the Yankees. Oh, not, not boo-boo. That was what really endeared him to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a, well, hey, you know what? There's our baseball talk for the day. Absolutely. There it is. Boom. There you, you come to a fork oh. in the road, take it. Take it. There you go. Yogi Bear. So we got OBJ. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, I wanted to get with, uh, with, I think the Chiefs have kind of, uh, helped their situation out a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Honey Badger's a good pick. That, yeah. That's a good pick up right there. I don't know if I agree with letting Houston go though. Yeah. I mean, Grant, he's not, yeah. he's not on the field all the time. Right. And that's a lot of money, but I, I think you maybe try and restructure that deal. I don't know if they did or not, if they tried to, but yeah. I, I mean, and people say, well, he's not going to take a pay cut. He might. Yeah. He very well may, because he's probably not going to get $15 million a year now. Mm-hmm. So I think that was worth at least trying to restructure. The fans liked him. Yeah. He was huge for them for a, f- a lot of years. For a lot of years, yeah. yeah. So I, and they franchised D Ford with the plan on trading him. So. Yeah. I mean, what do you think, Jeremy? You're, you're I, actually the Kansas City I, Chiefs fan. Here. I do not care for the man's name. Honey Badger? T- no, that, that's oh. not his real name. You well, know you know, yeah. he wasn't born with that, right? Well, but I agree Ty- with you. That's why I call Tyron him Tyron Matthew. No, it's it, Matthew. No, it's Matthew. Oh, the and, announcer's calling Matthew. Well, they're wrong, because oh, look at how it's spelled. Oh, no, I, it's, spelled, it's spelled crazy, but... They also called Jose Caseco Josie Caseco. <laughs> they sure did. <laughs> Because leave it per- to us to find turns a baseball out, reference for everything. Turns out Conseco was pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Yeah, what an asshole. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. In a lot of ways. I'm I'm kind of excited because I I I, I think that he'll he'll do just fine. He'll actually may, I, maybe be a, a difference maker for a Super Bowl. Could he be. can't make that secondary any worse. I know right. that. Um, right. What <laughs> I do know is I would like to see them drop Eric Berry. Yeah, he has been nothing but a drag on that team. He's played like three games in the last uh, two and a half seasons or some shit. Yeah, and you know they keep talking about him being this emotional leader. He missed most of this last season with a sore heel. Yeah, get a cortisone shot, you pussy, just like everybody <laughs> else in the fucking league does. Yeah, he is the highest paid safety in the league. Right. Uh, everybody goes on about how he got cancer. And he beat it, and then he came back. Yeah. He had Hodgkin lymphoma, which I don't want to disparage anybody who's had Hodgkin lymphoma, but is like literally the highest survival rate of any cancer. More people die from oh. the flu than from Hodgkin's lymphoma. It is not 
really if you get it you're if you have step your you game up it, lymphoma sure <laughs> oh god uh god but that was bad y- you're you're gonna survive it uh it's gonna suck for a little bit but you're gonna get through it fine oh. trust me i'm not a doctor um <laughs> But, you know, the team pays his salary while he's getting his treatment. Yeah. He comes back from it and rewards them by saying, what? If they tag me, I'm going to sit out. Oh, Lord. So they give him the highest paying deal for any safety in NFL history. First game in. Well, no, he had one half decent season for him. I, I think he made the Pro Bowl, but I think he's going to the Pro Bowl every year just because he's Eric Berry. Eric Berry, yeah. First game of the next season, tears his Achilles. He's out the whole fucking year. And then all this year, his heel hurt. AKA he sprained his vagina. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't disagree with you. I think it's I think it's time to cut ties with him too. I'm not even a Chief fan, but I the mean, guy's never even on the field. He can wear the yeah. fuck out of them street clothes on the sideline. Oh yeah. If you need somebody to do that, I'll do it for half the price. I'd do it for a quarter of that price or even less than that. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Two hundred thousand a year. Yeah. All right, since Scotty's trying to fucking Scotty, undercut me. Scotty, hey. he's, Scotty undercutted the chick that jerked off Robert Kraft. He's like, 75 <laughs> bucks, I'd have done it for 20 Free. Yeah. Free. You'd have blown Robert Kraft for free? That's uh, mighty nice of no, you. No, I wouldn't have done that. I'm going to say, what I don't if, even What if there free. were some free tickets involved? To a Patriots game? Fuck. No. No, 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 no. What no. if what if they were playing now, a whole team of Ditkas? Now, guest house, guest house <laughs> at the Robert Kraft Mansion? Maybe. Just to stay there for a night? No, forever. Oh. What about your wife? I'm telling. She'll understand. I'm a tell. <laughs> she yeah, no, Ooh, I'm she a tell. Understand. What she about his wife? Me. No, she can't come. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Bob Kraft will be busy coming. Yes. Okay. Uh, Throwing I, all them Kraft singles at the strippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, the last one I've got, and unless you you've got a couple of them that you want to discuss, as far as the because this has been an absolutely free agent frenzy. It has. There's been a lot of. We lost a uh, a lady named Adrian Amos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck her. She go into the Packers. <laughs> uh, now I've now nicknamed her Anus instead of Amos because I'm creative and I have the mind of a ten year old. Um, so it's now Adrian Anus is now a Packer, uh, which fits. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> And when we signed... Uh, Cord- I love those famous anus cookies. Yeah, right? No wonder they're always chocolate. Uh, so <laughs> My beer almost went all over the computer. Sponsored by Nick Foles. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we got a lot of asshole talk today, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we Boy, do. Boy, yeah. I mean, even for us, we're, we, we <laughs> never have that filter on. Yeah, you yeah. all know that. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, but nope. still, a lot of stuff coming out of butts today. <laughs> A lot of stuff. We also had uh, the dog, yeah. Foles, <laughs> and now this fucking cornerback from the yeah. Bears going to the Packers. Yeah, anus. Uh, and then, uh, so he's gone, and then we had Cordero Patterson. We actually just signed. The Bears just signed him uh, for two years, $10 million for a guy that's never had over 500 yards receiving. I don't know if we quite understand that move, <laughs> yeah. um, but I know he's, he's okay. He's decent in the return game. Yeah, he's but, not bad. But, I mean, you're never going to fill Hester's shoes. No. Nobody, I don't no. think, could ever well, fill Hester's shoes. And no. the league is trying to do a lot to do away with returns as much as possible. Yeah. That's true. I don't know if they'll ever be able to. Uh, they'll like, never get rid of them entirely, and you're always going to have punts. Yeah. Um, but teams are even, if you are a half-decent returner, they try and, try and get to you. the sidelines. Yeah. Yeah, because that changes the game. If you if you get stuck into a situation where somebody's punting into your end zone, and somehow you can get out of that end zone, you change you flip flop the field position. Then that's pretty fucking important. That wins games. Two, uh, yes, field position is a huge part of the game. Two Love other uh, two other moves the Bears have made. Boom! You like that piece of info I dropped on you? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. they. Uh, they restructured part of Max contract to defer eleven million of his guaranteed money is now a signing bonus or his bonus money. Okay. So now they've got twenty five million in cap to work with. Granted, they just spent some of that on Cordero Patterson. Uh, so I don't know what they're going to do with the rest of it. Uh, they're saying that they're a play for, a player for Bell, maybe, which I don't that, know. That was my last one. That was the last one on my little list here. I've got one other one, another big one from the Bears, but we'll go ahead and discuss Bell. We'll go ahead and discuss Bell. Do you, What are the options do you, that you actually think that he can get? 
because the Oakland Raiders have been spending a lot of money. The Green Bay Packers have been spending a lot of money on defensive players because they fucking needed them. And uh, I the Chiefs are out. I think the Packers are out just because of Roger or Rogers' contract yeah, and what it, they've already tough. spent now. It'll be really, 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 really tough. because and I don't I think, think Jones is a bad back. I mean, no. he plays for a dickhole of a team, yeah. but I don't think he's a bad I back. I think you and I are talking about the, or thinking about the same guy that – has not yet signed that just got put into a pretty situ- a pretty difficult situation. Talking about Ingram? Yep. Yeah, that's a possibility mm-hmm. I can see, and he's going to be a lot less expensive. The only thing is is that the Bears specifically want a four-down back. Yeah. Or th- I mean, a three-down de- back. They're and, describing and, Bell. And, well, yeah, they yeah, are describing and, Bell. And then they can unload that fucking waste of space, Jordan Howard. Uh, yeah. That, that guy, he I is so hate. highly touted, but he does nothing. I had him on my fantasy football team, that league that I won. <laughs> Such a dick. The The league that he won that he came in one year. Yeah. We've been we, How long have we had that league? Uh, seven? Nine, I think. Okay, well, I've been in it seven years. It's an odd been, number. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. And Definitely he comes, not eight or six. He, yeah, mm-hmm. he, he comes in one year and fucking wins the, the whole deal. Kicks me out of the playoffs by five points for the entire year. Five points is how Jeremy got into the playoffs mm-hmm. over yeah. myself. And then uh, ended up winning it all. And I'd uh, like to tell you that was by accident you're too, a but I, dude, I planned that uh-huh. from the draft. Uh huh. I I made it that close by drafting uh, Jordan Howard in the second round, mm-hmm. and then dumping him for uh, oh god damn it, I don't even know who I had. Dude from the Texans, receiver, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I yeah trade, somebody I traded, actually I took me up Hawkins. on that yeah. awful deal because you did I was that. Ty- yeah. Oh wow. I had fucking Antonio Brown, and I had. Uh, I, no, that wasn't you. I had Thielen, I Brown, Hopkins, and somebody else, and all three. I had four great receivers, so I traded two of them and got. Uh, Are you sure that won the year before? Barkley. No, I got Barkley. Barkley out of that deal, and then he traded Hopkins to Dickhead over here. Oh, oh yeah. I was gonna yeah, say yeah, I didn't yeah. trade you. This is. I, this is really riveting to the people at home. Yeah, I just matter. wanted him to know I won the fantasy. Oh, don't, the other, don't even miss yourself with, the other, with uh, this year during the football season that we're not going to have some some fantasy bullshit talk. But the other the other big thing that the Bears did is uh, got a kicker. You did get a kicker. Yeah, fucking Cody <laughs> Blewett. Are you fucking kidding me? Ridiculous. You sign a guy with the last name Blewett. <laughs> yeah. What is fucked it off? Gone? Was he not available? <laughs> You gotta be fucking kidding me, you big dumb son of a bitch! What are you doing, Ryan Pace? Are you serious? Oh, he's, Blew it. He's he's setting it up. He's just setting you up. That's god all. Damn you! <laughs> oh my god! They did, they got rid of Parky though. Yeah. So so that that's good. But we we said that last episode. Yeah. Who needed yeah. a Parky his ass on the bench and now they got blew it? Yeah, that's fucking great. I think it's I think it's all right. I think it'll be okay. It'll be all right. He better not be kicking for us. <laughs> I'm telling you. If he's kicking for us, I'm going to go down and throw batteries at his children. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. That's so funny. Okay, so do we? Where do you? Where do you think Le'Veon goes? Do you think he goes to Chicago? Because you've got to afford him. He wants a lot of fucking money. It's basically out there. Buyers. Somebody said the Jets. By the way, if you want him, you might as well say so, because whatever you say seems to come true. That's yeah. pretty much <laughs> actually fairly accurate. Here's my thing with, with Le'Veon, is you're going to find out what he's after mm-hmm. by who he signs with, okay? Because okay? uh, he's either, you're, you're, you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to win, or you're going to take the money. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he's in a situation to do both. No. So, because, uh, I mean, the Bears ponied all that money up for Mac. Yep. And I don't think they're going to spend a shit ton of money. You're on, right. Not, they're not going to give him what he wants, what Brown Correct. wants. Correct. Um, so the Jets will. Yeah. But the Jets are not going to, he's never going to win a Super Bowl with the Jets. No. So it's which way do you want to go? You, and may, not, I, I you don't, may not ever make the playoffs with the Jets. Right. So the teams that can afford him that really really need him are mm-hmm. not they're they're not going to get there with him. Right. So I, I it's going to be interesting to see what he does. I don't think he's going to be a bear. I really don't. Uh restructuring Max deal though to clear all that space cuz it's not like the Bears th- the salary cap is not you know their ceiling. Could they front heavy a contract? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean they got they got 15 million I think in cap. They cut Howard, that's another 2 million. Yeah. So I give them 17. So, I mean, it's possible, and they Do just lost what? Callahan and Anus, so. 
you can even you can even try to do a one year deal, two year deal. He's a free he agent. Won't, he won't uh, take no, that. He no. will. He you, will. You don't not. think so? No. He, that's okay. why he said he wants long term and he wants guaranteed money. Yep. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's. I mean, Chicago. It, it's the league enforcing the salary cap. It's not like that's just all Chicago can afford. Sure. Right. Yeah. So when they clear that much room, they're. They're going to make ready a move. to make a move of some sort, and yeah. I think they're going to go after him for sure. Because there's nobody else out there that's worth that's going to get paid like that. I mean, Landon Collins is already gone, right? And that was a that was a that was eighty nine million, I think, is what he got. Mm-hmm. So he's already gone, and Matthew is gone. But and it, what Earl Thomas maybe. But that's kind of where I'm going though. Is is that are you gonna are you gonna absolutely just spill your guts for Le'Veon Bell? To get him, which is a which is a three down back. I mean, he can he can catch, he can run, he's patient, and he's as it, good it, as his line is. So. It, that's it. but guess what? Guess whose line is pretty okay. They're okay. They're okay. They're not great. Okay, that's fine. But it takes a it, lot of pressure off of that fucking quarterback. It sure as shit does. And that and that makes sense in that in that regard. Yeah, because he's not fucking accurate. Right. It, but or do you go after the other option? Because he can't catch. Because they they also signed the Bears did get Mike Davis. They signed him out of Seattle, yeah. which see, he's not never getting back. But right, but but ever since uh, oh god damn it, uh, running back that used to play for the uh, Minnesota Vikings that's now going to Peterson. To, uh, no, Latavius that, Murray. Yeah, Latavius Murray that's now going to New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Ingram's gone. Yeah, Ingram. There ain't gone. no fucking way in hell. But I think with Ingram and Howard, you almost kind of have the similar. I think I think Ingram's better than Howard. I don't know. I'd rather have Ingram than I'd rather him take Ingram than Bell. To be honest with you, I okay, just that's Bell's, fair. Bell's got the wrong attitude. Okay, that's fair. So I'm, I'm going to say Bell goes after the cash, and I think he ultimately I think he's going to end up. I I wouldn't be shocked if he ended up a Jet. Yeah, and because those are the pretty much the options that he's come out with. Yeah. Un, un, unless while we're recording the show, he's already fucking said who he's going to. Because that's pretty much the whole story of of the last three days. Yeah, this shit's blowing up. Holy fuck! And Here, also uh, the if, Miami Dolphins signed a backup equipment manager. Congratulations to them. And the Denver Broncos traded for a backup quarterback. They're going to start <laughs> named Case Keenum. <laughs> Yeah, that was... They got Flacco. Uh, oh, yeah. They Shit. got Flacco. They got Flacco and Keenum. God damn. Isn't that terrible? Jesus Christ. Who'd you That's take? two backups. Who would I take? Yeah, who'd you take? Uh, new team. That's <laughs> who I would take. Mm-hmm. Like, Denver? No, just, not no more. <laughs> just start over with a fucking expansion team. Yeah. Okay, so so if you can see me on YouTube, I'm, I'm thumbing through some paperwork of, of 50... Crazy thing, YouTubers, Things. by the way, about Scotty, you may not know this, not his real arms. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fake. Those are puppet arms. Yeah. <laughs> what You'd never fuck? even fucking know it, right? They uh, look so real. CGI puppet arms. Uh, yeah. Like Yoda. Yeah. What? He lost them in a laser tag accident. <laughs> mm. <laughs> some, <laughs> some guy put it in D's instead of triple A's in the fucking laser tag gun and just really upped the wattage on those oh, things. Oh, shit. They filleted his ass. Mm. Oh, like a fuck. goddamn... Yep, burned right through. Yep. Anyway, so I'm I'm going through some of these, and, and this is from NFL.com, and they're sitting here the top fifty, like uh, uh, free agents and trades, and most uh, of them are gone. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, Le'Veon Bell's is the highest ranked. That fucking Raider nine minutes into free agency, boom, yeah. record setting deal for a lineman. Yeah, the guy out of New England. I don't even yep. remember his name, but I don't know. Linemen never get respect, and they're probably yeah. the most important person on that team outside of the quarterback. Man, Matthew, I, I don't know. They I, made I a whole fucking movie about left tackles. Yeah, well, just one. Yeah, I don't know. But, but he was he was blind. Uh, but it sure was. Um, uh, and Dominican Sue hasn't signed yet. He does. They don't know what they're going to do with him. Uh, but they. But the last rumor that I saw was that he is not going to be a Ram anymore. He'll, he'll probably join the UFC. That way, he can stomp on people and get no, away with no, shit. I'm, I'm guessing XFL. Yeah. There right. you go. Now yeah. we're talking. Mm-hmm. They need a face for the XFL or porn. He'd easily be long dog Sue. That'd <laughs> you, be easy. But do you know who I'm actually kind of? I'm actually kind of curious. I just now stumbled over a name that. Uh, may actually not be that bad is for it Chicago. Tevin Coleman. Mm-mm. No? Because he's kind of a scat back, but whenever Mm-mm. they lost down to Foreman, they, he did okay. No. I no mm, way. That'd be worse Fine. than getting AIDS. Fine. All right. Yeah. Sky he's actually all ranked. About AIDS. He's act, all about sure it. it is. Uh, he's actually ranked above Mark Ingram per NFL. What, I'd, what I'd the fuck Ingram. is well, this? Well, Ingram's old, too, though. He's been beat up a lot. Is that that same formula you did your fucking no, rank in the conferences just, with? No. This is the NFL. 
Yeah. I'm not doing this. Yeah, I don't uh, know how you do things. Ooh, 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 ooh. Saving I forgot. Paper. Uh, Adam Humphreys from Tampa Bay going to uh, Tennessee. Uh, Cole Beasley went to... Cole Beasley went to... Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Baltimore, I thought, wasn't it? I can't fucking remember. It doesn't I'm, matter. I'm pretty sure it was... Uh, no, he he went to Buffalo. I forgot. Yeah, that's right. There he went to fucking two Buffalo. Two guys went to Buffalo. They got Beasley and somebody else. Oh. She still got that mullet coming out. Suck. Yeah, yeah uh, I fucking hope so. Yeah, uh, they do. Yeah, I he hope does. he gets dragged he down sure by that does. fucking thing. Yeah, so this uh, I know that I know this is the off season. I know it's not. I, I know football doesn't start for another how many months, Derek? Football? Yeah, it doesn't start till September. So there's plenty. There's plenty of time for this shit. But yeah. oh sure, next week we're going to be talking players' union health insurance. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. And more rule changes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But uh, this all this stuff happened. Tyler Croft is who else Buffalo got. Oh okay. So, and John Brown, legitimately from Baltimore, legitimately that Jim's kid. Like, I'm decent. assuming all Browns are related. He's decent. Everything happened within the last three days, and I'm just I'm sitting here watching all of it, and I'm I'm done with it. Three days should have been plenty of time. I'm fucking done with it. Honestly, yeah, you goddamn, he let him in that top ten list. Just I, sure I did. Fucking did. I'm done with it. Okay. He threw it more accurately than any Chicago quarterback ever. ever did. I don't know. Sid Luckman could throw a list. He sure could. <laughs> I don't know. Not that good. Yeah, but it was always on a clipboard. It, Cut- Cutler could throw the list, too. I, but it, I, sometimes somebody, I'll, Leno I'll, always I'll caught like, it. Like, like, God damn it. I'll frisbee that shit, and it'd be like kind of cool looking whenever it Look at he's into it, guys. No, no, you, no you wouldn't, because we saw what you would do yeah. just now. We all witnessed just that. Just one of these. Yeah, just. I wasn't trying to throw it all God, pretty God, he did like. it way better than you. Uh, well, I didn't fucking try. There, yeah. I tried that time. Sure. Yeah. I was fouled, though. LeBron. I got LeBron. And that's paper, and you throw like a girl anyway, so it works. Ah. See if I hit like one, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, now now to the now let's briefly. I, I don't want to touch on it too terribly long. And we're uh, moving on. Yeah, yeah, we're moving on. <laughs> NFL's gone. The list is down on this the floor. This is Scotty's job. It, it's done. It's <laughs> yeah. done. We're moving on. We could talk list throwing... For yeah. another hour and a half. Yeah. But Scotty's got to keep us on that fucking track. Hey, YouTube, check it out. Pretty much. Huh? Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> Ever. This is why <laughs> you need to watch us on YouTube. I, I really... Because we're not going to tell you. YouTube, YouTube, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even funny. They're just immature. Fucking five. Yep. That's that immature ejaculation we were talking about. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I think, um, yeah, I think I think let's move on to college basketball because that's... that's Whatever what, you want, Scotty. That's, hey. that's fucking right. Don't okay. make penises with your ink pen on the statues. <laughs> right. You're not supposed to tell. That's the whole reason why you don't say anything, so you go to YouTube. So I don't really want to be seen. Shh. Okay. I think right. they're already there to see your fake arms. Probably. Mm-hmm. That's true. That that is that does have a <laughs> lot of uh, allure. If you see him in public too, don't be afraid to mention it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. He's proud to talk about him. I am. And if he tries to shake your hand, it's a trick. Don't do it. That fucker will come <laughs> off. Yeah, <laughs> they're holograms. Mm-hmm. Just like Coolio and and he was a hologram, right? Yeah. No, that was just an episode of Tosh Point oh. No, whole time Coolio's been a hologram. Oh, has he? Because mm-hmm. I know on that, track. Uh, I know that Tupac. He was God. a hologram. <laughs> it, it was actually Whoopi Goldberg in a costume. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> Singing Jumpin' Jack Flash. Boy, that was a shit movie. <laughs> All right. All right. So. College basketball. College basketball. For the Speaking love of Whoopi God. Goldberg, she owned the New York Knicks in that one movie. <laughs> okay. Eddie. For, 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 those, for those in the Wichita, Kansas area, that last second shot that happened on Saturday, 0.5 seconds left to go in the game. Dexter <clears throat> Dennis. We saw a, a last second Samar- shot. Or not, Samaj Samaj Hange Jones. Samaj Hange Jones yep. the week before. Mm-hmm. Dexter Dennis comes out and does it again, beats the worst team in the in in the American. Tulane. Tulane. At Tulane. I'll give him that. It was at Tulane. But we shouldn't have been in that situation. But uh hits a hits a three point shot with 0.5 seconds be- on the inbound and and swished it like it was nothing. Butter. And it just left his hand. And I he taught ruined him that. Mardi Gras. Impressive. Yeah, he fucked up Mardi Gras is what it did. I taught him how to do that. That was a good day. Uh, I bet you uh, Wichita State may actually make the NIT this year. They've got the knit. Tulane has the most intimidating mascot. The green wave? The green wave. The wave of piss? What, what kind what of pee is green? 
when you drink a lot of Jaeger. No. No. Scotty, that's an infection. You should see the doctor <laughs> yeah. about that. God, you're going to lose your arms and your wiener. Uh-huh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, I can attest that that is actually a true statement. I've seen me do it. Well, Wow. I You know, I've drank a lot of Jaeger. Uh-huh. I've teleported on Jaeger, <laughs> oh but I've never God. peed green. Mm-mm. I had a bunch of red velvet cake one night and forgot and woke up the next morning and freaked out why my can, shit was red. Let me ask you this. <laughs> but I've never peed green. Sure. It was a lot uh, of Jaeger. With green piss, can mm-hmm. you mix Strike Force in with that? Yes, you can. Nice. That's a that's, good that's a good set. You want to segue into that? What by all Why means? Why not? We might as well because that uh that works. Uh guys, we want you to check out our, our sponsor. It's strikeforceenergy.com. Very good product. It's an additive for uh, a bottle of water or in a drink uh, of any kind, including alcohol. Uh, it is an energy drink additive, meaning it comes into a little packet uh, in boxes like Jeremy did last week, just like this. They're this size, mm-hmm. and they come in uh, pack, uh, boxes of 10, and uh, it's a very good product, actually. You don't get the jitters after you use it, and you just put it in a bottle of water, shake it up, just like bottles of water that are on here on this table, <coughs> and uh, it's actually very like good tasting it tastes good oh yeah if you've tried some of these other i don't think i'm exaggerating here some of the energy drinks that i've tried every time i take a drink it's like 9 11 in my mouth every time (laughs) maybe worse terrible Uh, i'm not exaggerating at all no Mm -mm. oh that's horrible you can actually you don't actually just have to mix it either you can actually mainline it straight into your that vein in your penis Mm -hmm. i did that took out a whole battalion of ninjas how did you not go with anus on that (laughs) just butt chug it i'm a little anal out that's what nick Foles does butt chugging (laughs) he butt chugs strike force that's how he won the super bowl oh my god that's also known as uh Foles magic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that's what Foles magic is made out yeah. of Strike Force, folks. Fitz magic, you, you ain't got shit on Foles magic. <laughs> you want to be a winner? Drink Strike Force. There you go. Butt chug They've Strike got Force. Butt chug it. <laughs> They've got four flavors. It's it. They got. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Your asshole doesn't have taste buds. It doesn't even matter yeah, what the <laughs> flavors are. That's so terrible. It doesn't matter what the flavors are. But it's so good. Yes, it is. Feels so good once it hits your taint. Mm-hmm. That's horrible. Uh, but anyways, guys, they've got four, actually five flavors. Uh, the, I'm only showing four right here on our uh, desk right here. But they've got orange, lemon, grape, and original. Original tastes like fruit punch. Uh, and literally. And Nick Foles. <laughs> and they also have coffee as well. Uh, Don't but, butt chug coffee. That hurts. <laughs> but it, it does. It tastes like fruit punch or Nick Foles. And I, I guarantee you, if any of you ever meet Nick Foles, lick him. It tastes just like fruit punch. Oh, God. How do I do this fucking show? Anyway. All right. Uh, but check him out on strikeforceenergy.com. Use the promo code no more cans. Uh, that is, uh, that'll help you get 20% off of your entire order, and they can deliver to anywhere in the, in the entire world. Uh, that is actually true. It's, it's very popular with our military. I've had friends that are overseas that are still using it and uh, swear by it, so it's a very good product. Strikeforceenergy.com. Okay. And, uh, you know, you won't get you ten percent off, but you can use the promo code ButtChug. <laughs> It'll actually get an invalid code. That it, is yes. actually how you. They it, will and you'll know have a lot we more. Sent you. You'll have a lot more fun putting in ButtChug. Yeah, honestly. That'd hashtag be great. hashtag ButtChug. There you mm. go. It'll be worth the extra ten percent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, so uh, moving on. Uh, so we'll go to actually into the real thing. What we were going to talk about with college basketball. Ku is not going to be the uh, Big Twelve. Regular season champ, they they are not. We it's over. It's determined. Our, oh yeah. damn! I, we did. We should have had some of those air horns and shit. Yeah, God, we were watching the game uh, last week uh, during the episode. We were watching it. I had the TV turned. We we were uh, actually not paying very much attention to the camera uh, at all, or the even the episode because we were just hoping and we were on pins and needles as Oklahoma just kicked the ever living shit out of them. That was great. It yeah. was awesome. They're all the way down to 17 in the polls now, too, which is nice. They'll fucking Why are they get in the polls? Four seed. They're going to the, get, a get a fucking four, four seed. And what pisses me Dude. off is they will probably win the Big 12 tournament. No. I think, I think they will, too. Dean I, Wade's no. out. Dean Wade's stress fracture in his foot. Uh, is he out or pending? Uh, last I heard, it was a stress fracture in his foot. But yeah, walk it off. <sighs> yep. but, yeah, walk I, it off. The NBA can wait. You don't need it. 
<laughs> and it's in Kansas City, so it's home court advantage. They haven't lost yeah. at home it's, all year. It's in Kansas City, isn't it? Like every year it's in Kansas City? Yes. Yeah. Most years. It's been in other cities. But they have like a 12-year or 15-year yeah. contract with the Sprint Center now, so <sighs> they get home field, home court advantage every year. I, I wish they would only hmm. have like the semifinals there because like the first couple of rounds, they can't fill that fucking no. place. No. They're during the day, like West, over the lunch West hour Virginia ain't going to Kansas City. Yeah, the people. The people. The team. The team Sorry. I was going to say the team will. No, I mean, I mean. I think they're obligated to traveling, show up, actually. Traveling to uh, West Virginians going to Kansas yeah. City, probably the, not going to West happen. Virginia University stands more to gain than lose by showing up in Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. The reason I, the only reason I even give a shit that they lost mm-hmm. is because they made, all these guys made such a big fucking deal about 14 in a row. You got one national title out of 14 straight conference championships. Yeah. Maybe that's because Whoopee. the Big 12 is not that great of a conference. No, it's not. It's not. And so all I and heard... And who won that not great of a conference? Kansas State. That's <laughs> and right. Texas Tech. And Texas and Tech. Texas, Texas Tech. Tech may win the Big 12 tournament. That, see, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. I think that's for. my pick. Uh, well, yeah. uh, and, and I'm not going to shut out K-State. K- I won't do it. Manhattan's not that far away from Kansas City either. No, it's just Dean Wade. I think that all hinders on whether Dean Wade plays. Yeah. But and that's they the have reason. to overcome once again the worst coach in college basketball. Bruce, yeah. we- Bruce it, Weber is the him, most. Buddy. He is the most inept coach <gasps> in certainly in the Big Twelve, if not all of college basketball. Hey, uh, he was in the Big Ten too. Don't sell him short. <laughs> but but he's not there now. The Big Ten had some fucking sense. For for those of you guys who don't know, Derek is a is a an Illini fan, and that's kind of where Bruce. Where came from. Yeah, I, I, did, I wanted him fired there, He came too, from though. Purdue originally. Now he came an assistant. assistant, and then he was at Southern Illinois, and then Illinois, they're like, hey, we'll be cheap. We'll get a guy out of the Valley, and they did that, and then... Hey, there's hey, this a bunch of good coaches out of the Valley. You you hold your tongue. This guy screams incoherent shit. Yeah, he's a <clears> mouth <throat> breather. Let's get him. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but... That's the only reason I even gave a shit that KU had, had even lost the because I was tired of hearing about it. It yeah. was like thirteen straight, fourteen straight. Who gives who gives a shit? Yeah, and they count they counted ties, which I understand why they counted ties. I but I have a feeling those, wasn't it? Huh? There was only I think one only tie. Once. Yeah, with K State. Yeah, with, with, with K State. And what and, 13, but, 2013, something like that. But they remember. can declare that one because they did beat K State both times they played them that year. Exactly. Well, and technically I think you gotta <laughs> give back last year's because if De Souza was ineligible, then why is why did they have fourteen? Sure. I don't understand. You could probably that. do that a whole bunch of times. Just, oh, there's no yeah. paperwork or evidence. Yeah. I Since wonder what that evidence. Uh, but. Well, no, it, I don't know. There's definitely not any evidence. It's in a <laughs> fireplace someplace in ashes. Since we're on the subject, by the way, who would you rather be around an excessive mouth breather or an excessive nose breather? Nose like somebody breather. who breathes real hard through the, the mouth. <sighs> nose. I'd rather be around the mouth. Breather. Nose, no nose. It's it's quieter. Especially if you get boogers up in there. You get no, the I'm rocks. talking a guy oh, who when they like whistle. When they oh, make you whistle, oh, <laughs> dude, snap my fingers, tap my toes to that shit. <laughs> no, because you can just tell them, "Hey, bro, go go fucking blow that thing." Yeah, I tell people that yeah, all the time, but I'm not talking about nose. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey, bro, I'll tell that Scotty right now. Hey, bro, come blow this fucking hey, thing. Hey, bro, go take care of that shit. Just you know, uh, don't be too loud about it. Scotty's dog might shit again. <laughs> that ain't no fun. That's no. No, that's some joke. shit. Hey, no, that is some shit. Anyway, uh, so uh, I, I'm I'm gonna call it. Uh, Ku does not win the Big Twelve tournament. Bold. I'm gonna call that right now. Okay. I uh, in fact I wouldn't put it past them to lose to like a fucking Iowa State. Iowa State they, can beat them if they do Baylor. That, where do they get seated in the tournament if they get an early bounce? What should they be seated as? What or should they? What in, would both. they be seated as? Both. What will they be seated as is either a four or a five. If they win the Big 12 championship, then they're going to be a fucking three. Yeah. Okay? But what they should be is at least a four. Yeah. Okay? At the best. At the be- Yeah, at the best. That's if what they, they should an, be. If they take an early curtain call out of the Big 12 tournament, they should be like a seven. I I wouldn't put it past them. You're a nine loss team. Joe Lenardi has eight teams out of the Big Twelve, and I know it says Big Twelve. There's ten fucking teams in this conference. Yeah, right? I wouldn't kiss put any of those in there. my ass. They went no way on the road. They went three and six in the conference on the road. Yeah, and you know to be a credible team, I think you ha- 
you it's very hard to win on the road in the Big Twelve, but you have to if you want to be considered a top you know, team. A top, a top team. team. And yes. you had like you said last week, yeah, they've got injuries, but they've got four they have four McDonald's All Americans still. Yes. Which is probably more than a lot of the other teams in the Big Twelve. I would love including I would Grimace. love four <laughs> All Americans on my team. Grimace can fucking handle the rock. I like yeah. the oh yeah he can. I, I like Dude, the, that had a, he had a wicked crossover. I like the power for the hook. The I can't remember his name. Mayor McCheese? No, oh. <laughs> no douchebag McFuckstick. Uh, uh, something he wasn't foot. in McDonald's. Something Land. foot. I don't know. I can't remember his oh, name. Oh, Lightfoot. Lightfoot. Oh. He, he's all right. You know the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. He, he wears the wrong jersey. I hope KU kicks him off, and I, I would take him. I don't like the way the guy does his hair. Well. I don't he he looks what, like I don't, one of them old timey players. Care what he fucking looks like. I think he has the most punchable face in the NCAA. Probably, yeah. But if anyway. you can reach it, because he's almost seven foot tall. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, I do want to review one game. Uh, we we obviously reviewed the KU Oklahoma uh, Oklahoma, but there was also Michigan Michigan State game that we called, which uh, we all picked Michigan State. Uh, but I kind of want to pull up some statistics for this because this is this is this is just how fucking smart we are. Uh, going into halftime, it was 35-29 Michigan. It, this is at Michigan State. Yeah. Which is an insurmountable lead. And it's not insurmountable. <laughs> but they did not look good in the first half. Mm. They really did. <clears throat> it was bad. No, the fact they wound up with 75 points it, by the end of the game is... Uh, yeah. That's a hell of a second yeah. half. Yeah, second half, uh, Michigan State outscored Michigan 46-28. to Like, that's a lot and a half. During a whole game, that's one thing. That's do that's definitely doable. Pretty easy if you're going up against a shitty team. But this is Michigan, Michigan State. They kicked the fucking shit out of them in the second half. And that's crazy. I don't claim to be a basketball expert here, but when you can outscore a team in the second half by more than they outscored you in the first half, you're gonna win most of those games. I would say about hundred percent of them, yes. I'm if not you a mathematician outs- I either. Think, I think if you can outscore them in both halves, you're like 100% to win. 100% to win every time. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> there could be a forfeit. <laughs> but anyway. Last second forfeit. Um, uh, yeah. but uh, So now we get down to it to where this is championship week. This is when everything starts. This is March, baby. This is when it gets really fucking good. Except for right? the Big Sky Conference. They've already been determined. Yeah, and so has the Missouri Valley. And uh, for what it's worth, uh, Leola. Uh, I don't remember the grandma's name, uh, but she's old a lady. nun. She doesn't none. have children. That's right. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just technically recognize. we're all God's children. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, they will not. Man. They will not be. <laughs> they will not be in the tournament this year. It's going to be Bradley. Bradley won the Missouri Valley tournament, knocked off Loyola. Bradley who? Cooper? Uh, no, the team, Lady Gaga no, sing that bullshit song. The team that beat KU in the or in the NCAA tournament. Oh, I, I like, like those guys. Yeah, see, I like them too. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, so uh, the first tournament I want to get into really briefly uh, is the uh, ACC. Okay. First off, and then uh, well, no, actually, I don't want to do that. I want to go to Big Twelve tournament. We already did that. Never so mind. now we didn't off. really pick Big Twelve. Hang, hang on a sec. Are oh, you? Yeah, we did. I did. Are I you did. thinking? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, go ahead. No. Are you thinking Loyola will not get an at-large bid? No. You don't think so? No. Unfortunately, the Missouri Valley is a one-bid team, even when Wichita State won and went undefeated the entire season, beat the shit out of Illinois State that year, and Illinois State went to the NIT. And Illinois State wasn't a bad team. Illinois I mean, we State beat them, was beat, ranked part of that year, weren't Part they? of that year they were, uh, and uh, we beat them by 20 in the Missouri Valley Championship game, uh, and, I mean, we just beat the fucking piss out of them. What's and, our mascot? Uh, the Redbirds. Red and uh, their fans are not yeah. very nice to so me. Big, our, our big twelve tournament. Uh, big Big Twelve tournament. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Tech. Jeremy, I think Tech probably. I think KU because of where it's played. Okay, that's fair. That's why only reason. That's not and I hate unfair. them. Don't don't even think I'm coming around. I hate them. <laughs> but if I had to bet, uh, I'm glad somebody picked them because they did go undefeated eh. at home. Yeah, all year. I think because of where yeah. it's played, KU's. Got the advantage. That's there. fair. Including, didn't they beat Tennessee there? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 So, I mean, they're formidable when they have the home crowd advantage. Yeah. And the home ref advantage. That bingo. Five five fouls whenever you play the game? Yeah, that's what, that's, that's what you start at? That's pretty, yeah. Okay, got it. All right, next on. ACC. Zion Williamson. Is he playing in it? What's happening? 
because you guys, both of you assholes, said that Zion Williamson was going to play against UNC. I thought he was. I was the only one that was like, I don't, I don't think so. I just don't. I mean, maybe, maybe Coach K's telling the truth. Maybe he's not a hundred percent. Maybe there's a contract written fucking pencil that's already been signed that you can fucking erase <laughs> with it. But. There's a contract saying, yeah, don't hurt my kid because right when he graduates or when he's done with this year, he's going to the fucking NBA. That fucker loses his arms like you did in that laser tag accident. Oh my he's still going to go number one Pretty overall. Pretty much. Why, why would you Dunk believe anything Coach Krzyzewski says? He doesn't even he doesn't tell the truth about his last name. I know. Uh, you pronounce it. Uh, it's Coach Kalishnikov. It is Coach Kalishnikov. He invented the AK-47. Yes. He's that old and Soviet. Um, anyway, uh, but I don't think Zion plays and now at this point. Why? Why would you? The rest of the season, including the tournament. No, the, he's playing tournament. He's, he's, he's but he's not playing the ACC. Okay, I, I I will say this: if he plays in the ACC tournament, it's not very much. Very limited minutes. The main reason why I say that is because I'm worried about rust. Yeah. I'm worried about game rust. But look I who they're going to play. In the, gets rusty. Look who they're going to play mm. in the first. They're going to be a two seed, probably. They're oh, playing a fifteen. Oh, you're talking about you're talking about the NCAA tournament. I'm talking about he's not going to play in the tournament. And I know you're saying because of rust, you mm-hmm. think he might get mm-hmm. a few minutes in the ACC tournament. Mm-hmm. But in the NCAA tournament, they're they're, they're going to play a fifteen, and that team would beat a fifteen without Zion. I mean, they they're a, they're a Sweet Sixteen team at least without without Williamson. So uh, yeah, I, I, know, I, I think that too. In the NCAA tournament, upsets don't happen. No, never. Not at all. Not at all. So yeah, I don't think he's gonna play. Mm. Okay, I disagree. I think uh, I think he plays. Uh, most likely, Duke is gonna run into Syracuse uh, because the way the ACC tournament. That's if who you, they play first. Isn't for it? fuck's sake. Uh, well, it's, most likely, it's Tibid. It's Tibid. Tibid. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Uh, but if you guys have never looked at the ACC tournament bracket, it's super fucked up. But I've I've been in double elimination softball tournaments that weren't that confusing. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no shit. Uh, but yeah, Jeremy basically the twice. number one, number mm-hmm. four, number th- number I'm two, and number guy. Th- yeah. okay, basically <laughs> one through four ranked teams in the ACC. Uh, they get a two game bye, and then then they play through. Well, they got what three teams in the top five? Period. Yeah. They got, what, Virginia, North Carolina, and Duke. And then Florida State's in the top 25. Maybe yeah. we shouldn't have conferences with 28 teams in them. Uh, they have 15. Whatever. That's way too many. I put agree. K, I think put KU in there. Uh, fuck yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I want to see. I'd be cool with that. Then you get 14 of them, bitches. Fuck it. I'll hop on the wagon. Uh, I'll 15 rock or 14. my I'm ass. Sorry. Yeah. I may be wrong. It may be, I, may, I may be wrong. There may only be 14 teams. Or maybe nope, nope. It's fifteen. I was right. I mean, national championship the championships is the ACC had in the last fourteen years a lot more than the Big Twelve. Yeah, we'll put it that way. Um, but anyway, the, for the fuck's ACC, sake, the Big East has had more more national championships than the fucking Big Twelve. Out of the uh, <laughs> out of the ACC tournament, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with UNC. I think that's who's gonna win that thing, and I don't think Zion plays. Okay, here's my here's my stipulation: if Zion plays. Uh, I still don't think they win because I think they play him sparingly. I think if they get to like the semifinal game, mm-hmm. they're at least a two seed, and that's fine. That's all they want. I think. Th- I think that's all they want, really. And uh, then Zion is fully healthy, and they win the Natty. Anyway, I think they're win the whole fucking thing. Uh, yeah, I'm t- the Natty. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, yeah. the whole Big, natural the whole light. fucking thing. Yeah. The whole Natty light. But uh, I am going to change my tune. I have been saying that Virginia is my quote unquote dark horse in the national uh, or in the tournament, and uh, I I agree with you now. I think that it is UNC. UNC. Yeah, I, I will take UNC to win the ACC tournament, and if anything happens other than Zion being a hundred percent healthy, the uh, the ACC may actually have not only two but. Three teams in the Final Four. Possible. Bold predictions, possible. but it's possible. I think <clears throat> they almost for sure have two, though. I think either UNC, Duke, or Virginia, two of the two out of those guys are going to the fucking Final Four. I think it's going to be all Missouri Valley teams. Mm-hmm. They have one. 
We don't know that yet. Yeah. Selection Sunday. <laughs> <on Selection's laughs> Sunday. Don't count Jeez. out the Redbirds or the Saluki. You know, uh, what, you know what happens when you get cocky, Scotty? Mm. A dog shits all over your bathroom <laughs> and eats your fixtures. That's what happens. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, God damn it. I, I am anyway. going, I'm just for one reason and one reason only, I am going with Louisville because their mascot is a cardinal that has teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's not natural. That shouldn't happen. They shouldn't win the tournament, but the fucking Cardinal has teeth. They're going to win it. Right. Radiation. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Uh, obviously, like there chicken. are other... Uh, do you want to take a stab at who's going to win the Big Ten? Michigan State. You think Michigan State's going to win the Big Ten? Mm -hmm. The tournament? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Izzo. I know it's Izzo. I love Izzo. I know it's Izzo, but... It ain't going to be fucking Illinois. No, I know <laughs> it's not going to be Illinois. Yeah, that's my team. But they, ain't go, they ain't getting there. Uh, I'll take Michigan. Take a Michi Michigan? Michigan, because they need to play them again to redeem themselves. Yeah, I'll take State. Okay. I'll always pay. I'll, 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 I don't like to bet against Izzo. I know you don't. But uh, I'm going with DeVry. DeVry? Mm-hmm. Okay. The DeVry Institute. They're going to win the Big Ten. Okay. That's fair. That's not, that's not too bad. Uh, Damn right it's not. That's a fucking lock. We do actually have something to talk about the NBA. That's not fucking LeBron James. Hey, you're welcome, folks. No kidding. Don't want to talk about him anyway. Uh, so piece of shit. Yeah, he is a piece of shit. So, so basically today, uh, they had a apparently they had a some kind of a scuffle or some kind of a I don't know thing that went down between Russell West Westbrook and a fan, and it was at a Utah Utah yeah, Jazz it was game. A Utah fan, right? Which apparently uh, Westbrook and Utah haven't gotten along for a while. For now. a while, yeah, I knew that. Utah guy was there with what, like all four of his wives, mm -hmm. something like that, yeah. and and twenty seven kids. Mm -hmm. His his wife was a part of it. I know that. That which oh, one? Was, was she really? Which yeah, wife? The, oh. the guy said it, and then she reiterated it. Hmm. Ah, beer. way to go. Uh, what I said, ah, beer. Oh that yeah, liquid I, courage. Yeah, that's I had, what you need I, to I've had, I had a rough day. I needed a beer. Oh, I was talking about his wife and, and him. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's it's kind of a touchy subject because I really don't like going into kind of stuff like this. Um, but uh, some somehow uh, the 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 reports of what was said by the fan aren't really clear. But the rumors of what was said was that there was race involved. Well, uh, what was said was something about get getting on your, on your knees, knees like you, you normally do, like or you used, used to. to. That's right, like you used to. I took I take that to be a dick sucking yeah, remark. That's, that's what I would. But somehow it's like they're tying that to slavery. Oh, uh, whoa, oh, and uh, they're taking it as a racial issue. Okay. All right. Um, I can see why they only find his ass $25,000 then. I, I, I don't ass. think it was meant as... Uh, I, again, I I wouldn't yell that out anyway. Never. So I can't really get into this guy's mindset of why he would yell that. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Um, because... I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, 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 I wasn't really saying anything, okay. so go ahead. That's fine. Um, but... I, I'm sorry. I've been to a Wichita State baseball game, a Major League Baseball game. Whenever you're sitting in, in the outfield, what do you do? It, and you're and the opposing team is in the field. Oh, you yackle. Fuck. All game long. Yeah, but I mean, there's kids it, around. So if you're if you're like, and I hate children. <laughs> God, they're but, the uh, worst. They're especially the fucking mine. Worst. But I mean, I'll sometimes censor myself. I remember being at a basketball game. I was in a line eye game. Yeah. And I was yelling some pretty awful shit. Then I look around and there's a kid like two rows next to me and then one right next to me that I just didn't really give a shit about. <laughs> and uh, I remember I changed my heckles. Like I was starting to be a little better about well, it. Did like, mom and dad he, look at you like you're an evil person? A little bit. And he so, started heckling the and, kid. Instead of like, uh, <laughs> exactly. hey, you <laughs> suck at being young. Yeah. Instead of like being like, hey, number 12, your mom's a whore. <laughs> I changed it. I was like, number 12, your mom's a very promiscuous woman, you know? <laughs> okay. She's a sure. prostitute. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. 
So a very inexpensive prostitute. Yes. See, your mom boom. is friends with Robert Kraft. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, I just it, it sucks that it's gotten to this point. I, it really has because I guess the guy that that was heckling or was yelling at him, yeah, uh, obviously Russell decided to jaw back sure. and say some pretty inappropriate things, which I he think has every right. He, he has he every right to, but he didn't just jaw back. He, he stopped and got went to the guy. Something was horribly said that yeah. really sparked him because the guy has been in the league several years now. Yeah. He's played a lot of road games. He hears sure. all kinds of shit. Normally, I mean, these Pretty guys... Pretty hated guy in the NBA. Yes. It, but, so I've been told. Yeah. Uh, you know, these high-profile athletes, they usually see psychiatrists and counselors and stuff who actually teach them to tune that shit out. Yeah. And so if he can't... And he's a pretty focused player, too. Yeah. So if he can't tune that out, something pretty bad was said. Now, right. I agree that it's kind of implied when you have these high-dollar contracts. Yeah. Heckling comes with it. But there's a difference between you suck and racist comments sure. and, or threats of violence. Absolutely. Um, that is... Which I was told that Russell has, Westbrook actually threatened that. I'll beat the shit out of you and your wife. And your wife, yeah. because she reiterated the comment that, that the said, guy yeah. said. Um, I'd take I, Westbrook in that fight. Maybe. Yeah. Just kind of. I don't know. That guy had a badass wife. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she had a, wife a with mohawk, a knife. I think. Might what? have had a mohawk. What? No. They're Way Mormons. to run with it, Scotty. God damn, you're a good improv. I'm sorry. I'm um, terrible at improv, actually. They don't allow mohawks in Utah. Yeah, but, I know. Uh, they're Mormons. Actually, no, there's a lot of Indians there. Yeah. Oh. But uh, they love to be called Indians, by the way. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's terrible. Big. That's um, awful. Anyways, uh, I apologize to the Native American community, but we do keep <laughs> it unfiltered here. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, there there does need to be a draw, a line drawn, and I'm guessing that it didn't start there. It escalated to it, and it, it seems, did. seems to me like... Security should have intervened before it escalated to this point. I would agree. Yeah, a hundred percent. I would agree. I, I mean, to the certain point, that I, there's no. God dang it! I don't know. I don't know. Shit. We yeah, know this. I know. You big dumb sum of a bitch. Well, the whole thing is, is that you can be called and told all kinds of things, and and. You can do one of two things. You can either A, let it affect you, or B, let it roll off your back. Because I don't know, you can you can say whatever you want to say, but uh there there are other I don't know. There, it doesn't make any sense that he would go over and respond to me. Like at least he didn't run our test him. You know what I that's mean? That's true. I mean, that's, there's way worse shit that's he could have done. All he and, did was just say something bad. Right. And, unless you really got personal about him that I really, can, I mean. I mean, do you really think Russell Westbrook was going to be late looking for a fucking guy in the parking lot with his wife with for that couple? Like, all I right, don't know. Hey, here it comes, motherfucker. He's not going to do that. No, hell no. But it's at the fucking, same time. I'm going to talk back to you, bitch. I, like, guess, I guess my entire life I've been short. I, I've always been picked on. I'm easy to pick on because I really don't care. We never have. Or but but I but I squirm and squeal whenever whenever, you know, somebody says something that I'm really uncomfortable with. You know, I say that that sounds terrible. That sounds like fucking weird. Or make him squirm and squeal. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean if it's like if it's like something that I just don't really like, I'm always one going, Oh God, come on, don't say that. That's terrible. You are and, your stepfather. Uh, thanks, man. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Come on, guys. Oh, fuck off. I'm not that guy. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I don't, I, at the, at this point anymore, I, I don't care. This is my thing. And we haven't had one in a while. But whenever somebody tries to say anything offensive or does anything offensive or anything like that I, I i i go to watch a basketball game for the sport and i i want to go and uh, enjoy myself watching the sport and i don't really give a shit about uh what somebody else thinks what somebody else says 
and uh, it's just it's just not my thing. So we haven't done one of these in a while, but I'm going to do one. And this one is a uh, if you ever want to bring in politics, race, or any of that shit to a fucking sports game of any kind, go fuck yourself. I'm mainly talking about uh, people that like to put politics into sports. This is something that has bothered me for a very, very, very long time. Um, I actually did a political show at one point in time. And I'm not going to tell you my affiliation because I don't care about mine. I don't care about Jeremy's. I don't care about yours. And I sure as shit don't care about any other fucking athlete or anybody else that does ESPN commentary. I don't give a flying fuck. I don't care what you think about anything that's not related to the sport, the game, or anything at all that's not related to the sport. When I get off of work, I, I mean, I'm, I'm at work all day. I'm going through politics all day anyway. I'm going through the politics at work. I'm going through the politics throughout the entire country, throughout the United States. I don't give a flying fuck about it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I want to go home. I want to watch my sport, right? I want to sit down and watch people play basketball, football, baseball. I want to watch that. I don't really give a shit about what you have to say about any political category whatsoever. I don't. It's not what I do. What I want to do is I, uh, I really just want to care about the game because that's an escape. That's what we do as sports fans. And as a sports caster, I think that it's your responsibility if you are a, a sports fan to talk about the sport, talk about the stats, talk about how good somebody is at something. And if you're an athlete, if you want to say what you want to say, just understand that whatever you say, you're probably going to lose 50% of somebody that likes you or 50% of your fans because that's the way that it is. Now, on a real level, um, I, I don't really care. I'm done with it. It's not something that I'm interested in. It's not something that I'm going to keep on watching. If I want to watch politics, I'll turn on Fox News, MSNBC, or CNN. But at this point in time, I want to tell all those people that are athletes, that are sportscasters, if you want to continue to put politics into SportsCenter, ESPN, whatever you want to do there, you can seriously just go and fuck yourself. That was Go Fuck Yourself, brought to you by American Anthem Knee Pads. If you're going to take a stand, make sure and kneel with American Anthem Knee Pads. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh, oh lord okay guys I, I totally get what you're saying i mean sports really is nothing more than a metaphor for the fucking bullshit right wing stance on vietnam <laughs> okay <laughs> no I've, I've been wanting oh. to do that for a really long time i i just it's something that that means a lot to me especially since you know i was in it and I really don't care what anybody's political stance in when it comes to sports. That that it's this it's the escape that we all want to do. We want to go home. We don't want to we don't want to care. I I would take that even a step further. I don't want it in my entertainment period. But yeah, I there's, would say there's agreed. news formats, and then there's I I got a full fucking dose of that this weekend. I went and saw Captain Marvel. Yeah, and it is just I believe me, I'm all for women's rights, ladies, yeah, fucking be sure. powerful, but. It is just so in your face. It's on the nose. Oh, girls can't be heroes. Such shit with that. And it's like stuff that nobody would ever say in real life. Yeah. And, you know, when I go to a movie, I want to go there to get away from the shit yeah, that goes on the in the point. world. That's the whole you know, point. The, the whole thing about a lot of the male superheroes that I, that I love, Indiana Jones, Luke Skywalker, all those guys. Never once make mention of the fact they have a penis or that they're heroes because they're man. They're heroes because what they're heroes. What kind of heroes. superheroes are you watching? That's yeah, I all the ones say. I see. Peter but... North. Nobody <laughs> ever talks about his dick. Uh, you know, and that no, guy's but loads it's just, of fun. It's just something that, like, on the on this show, this is going to be the last time. This is the last time I even want to. Last discuss time for it. this show, you heard it right here, folks. I, We're never doing the show I, again. I don't. I don't ever want to discuss politics. It's not my thing anymore. I'm done. I want to talk about sports. I want to talk about the athletes. And even if whatever somebody is doing is remotely political, I'm going to avoid it like the plague, and I'm going to talk about them as a human being and as an athlete. That's what we're going to do. Now, now yep, there so. have been 
legitimate times where you can't like where you say the you know Jackie Robinson or Eddie Klepp sure being you know breaking the color barriers you know mostly Eddie Klepp yeah but that's but, not political uh you know I mean that was for political oh okay purposes so I see that it was okay. happening I see what you're saying uh you know that was obvious just out and out racism where they were breaking sure. color barriers that needed to be done. Um, but yeah, as far as just pure political correctness in yeah. this day and age and what's going to trigger people, I, I kind of like knowing that on this show, we probably say some inappropriate shit that does trigger people <laughs> fucking get over it <laughs> because we, I, well. I know there's been some opinions expressed about some things that I've said that maybe some people didn't care for. Understand this, your disapproval of what I say is about as concerning to me as a cloudy day. <laughs> I really don't give a shit. He what bitched you think. all day about how cloudy it was. I, I, I sure did. God damn. Like, and I worried about Scotty's dog. I was getting and ready to say, okay? I bitched and, all day. Oh my God, I bitched all day. Ugh. Like fuck, and it's raining. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow, guys? Oh no, guess what? Tomorrow it's raining. Couple of quick but notes. Hey. Yeah, uh, D Ford. They're saying now. Sources are saying that uh, he they're pretty close to a trade with the Niners. Nice. So the Chiefs franchised and looks like they probably have successfully traded him. What nice. uh, what are, does it say? What they're getting out of him? Not probably, yet. Probably not. Uh, the other thing is uh, the Jazz fan we were just talking about uh, banned for life from Jazz games. Yeah. And also, uh, Conor McGregor owes me a fucking iPhone 5S. <laughs> so, 5S? Was that the first Siri? Weeks. Model? Oh, I'm a fucking baller, dude. 5S? Don't hate yeah. on my game. 10X, bro. No, 4, four no. was the first Siri model, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, 4S. he owes me a 5S. Yeah, bro. that's a, one above the first. <laughs> yeah, bitches. Oh, uh, shit. And if right. I see you, Conor McGregor, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Yeah, just like uh, Mayweather did. I'll pay to see it. Pay go. lots of money to right see that there. shit. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Anyway, all right, we're, we're, we're running in a little bit long, but uh, thank you guys very much from the bottom of our hearts. Do check us out on Facebook. Uh, that is the Unfiltered Sportscast on Facebook. On YouTube, it is Unfiltered Sportscast. No V. Uh, do, do us a favor and subscribe. Subscribe so that way you can get uh, notifications whenever they come out. Make sure you click the bell. Click the notification bell so that way you can see whenever the video comes out uh, because, uh, you know, you can see what we look like, what we, uh, and Derek being completely and totally inappropriate as usual. And uh, uh, speaking of Derek and inappropriate, <laughs> you got new dates coming up? Yeah, do you? Yeah, actually, I do. Uh, this Friday, I'll be in Topeka, Kansas, uh, with Jeremy Rush and Romy Lee at the break room. Nice. And, so. and I, I actually have one. I'm coming, rare, coming out of retirement. Uh, I'll be uh, April 15th, tax day, motherfuckers. Uh, nice. Just add to your misery by coming to see me and some other locals uh, in Newton. I don't remember where in Newton. <laughs> Just drive around till you find the only place where they could have... Uh, stand up in Newton, and that's probably it. If people are laughing, it's not the right place. Go to the next one. Um, but yeah, I uh, I got out of the game a little over a year ago, and uh, but I still will do from time to time to help some local comics out when they need a an amazing comedian, and they can't get them. I'll step in. I've I've i I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I know we're running long, and I don't give a shit. I've seen them both. I've seen both naked. Derek, not naked. Every no. Tuesday he sees us. No, I see him. I see him every Tuesday. But I, I've seen them both uh, do stand up. Uh, I've seen Jeremy. I've seen Derek, and both of them are absolutely hilarious. Uh, and uh, I can only uh, really encourage you guys to go out and and uh, listen to them. I, I do have to tell a quick story. I'm gonna make it quick, and short, and sweet. Uh, I, I actually went. I, I neglected to go see Derek. I, I, I tried not to go see Derek. I made excuses to not go see Derek because he was my friend before I knew he was a stand-up comedian. When I found out he was a stand-up comedian, uh, I, I shunned the idea of actually going because I thought I was going to go and see somebody absolutely fall flat on their face. And uh, I damn near pissed myself, shit myself, uh, while we're talking about anuses and shit like that. Just I, like I, the dog. I, I'm dead serious uh made me laugh my ass off i went and saw jeremy as well at the exact same show as at the barley corns uh whenever you okay. opened yeah. for sure. for derek and uh uh jeremy made my abs hurt as well so do 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 me a favor check them out um 
They are very close, close friends of mine, and so. Uh, and dude, one of these days, we're going to do a listener appreciation show. Uh, we may have to. Yeah, we'll get all seven of you in the basement. Seven hundred thousand. I ain't doing shit, but they can. But anyway, we well, uh, got to keep us on track with our jokes. Yeah, yes. exactly. Come on, guys, you're running long here. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but <laughs> no, like we always like to say, uh, we really do appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, if you like us, please do us a favor. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell anybody that you can. But also, if you hate us... Tell your enemies. Exactly. And until next time, guys... Take that filter off and make it dirty. We'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>